guys. <laughs> All right. Good afternoon, Glow Academy students and staff and families and anybody who's watching on our live stream. Happy uh wednesday today is wednesday right today is wednesday uh happy wednesday june 3rd uh today's title slide features members of the class of 2023 uh from this past school year just reminding you ladies that you are still in it to win it and you'll be moving up to your sophomore year the middle of next week that's happening so what's happening in GLOW Virtual Academy? Well, I want to remind everybody that the last day of GVA is on June 11th. That means you have until June 11th to get assignments completed and discussions posted. You have up until 11.59 on June 11th to get that, get that completed and up. At 12 midnight, your courses close and the opportunity to claim those points goes away. So make sure you're on it and getting your work done uh, right now so that you can claim those points. We've been talking about what's cooking with Miss Hollis and Miss Michaels this week. Yesterday, we looked at their uh, cooking class online where they made some fabulous brownies. And tomorrow, they are shaking and baking uh, with some vegetables. Not this kind of shake and bake. This is your grandmother's shake and bake. They're bringing it to uh, 2020, ladies, with a new and fabulous shake and bake. Current sixth grade students. Ooh, I'm going to step on Dewey. Uh, make sure that you are on getting your uh, electives selected for next year. So in week five of GBA in leadership advisory, if you didn't fill out the survey related to uh, your electives choices, you need to make sure you get that survey completed so that we know what to sign you up for for electives for next year. Because if you don't fill it out, I'm gonna put you in whatever electives I want to which might be fun for me this summer. So make sure you get it taken care of. Speaking of surveys, now is the time to raise your voice, ladies, about your experience this past year at Glow Academy. Week nine of your uh, GVA Leadership Advisory class has you doing a student survey. But well, you can do it now, even though it's week eight, and get it taken care of. I hear it's an easy 20 points to claim in week nine of GVA, so make it happen. Speaking of opportunities to make it happen, I am calling all members of the class of 2023 and 2024 to lay out an opportunity for you. This summer, we are gonna be hosting a week-long summer camp at Glow Academy. We do this every year, it's called Summer Leadership Academy. Some of you might have even participated in years past when we did it at UNCW. This year we're hosting it on GLOW's campus and we have some members of our faculty that are gonna be doing this along with some folks from the YMCA. And we are opening up some opportunities for some, some GLOW girls from the class of 2024 or 2023 to come and volunteer as counselors in training as part of this summer camp experience. I know you're thinking, why would I want to volunteer for it to be a counselor in training? And let me tell you, here's why. Number one, it's cool. And you get cool t-shirts, which is always a good reason to do anything. But in addition to that, uh, it's a great way to build up some opportunities on your resume as you're building up your resume for college enrollment. And a great way to earn some volunteer hours. I don't know if you got the memo, but you got to rack up some serious volunteer hours before graduation. And if you volunteered for this opportunity, you'd get over 42 volunteer hours in one week. What's there to think about? You should just do it. So if you're interested in volunteering to be a counselor in training with Summer Leadership Academy this summer, and you are 
a, class, a member of the class of 2023 or a member of the class of 2024, you should reach out and let me know. So I know that we're heading into summer, which means it's time to put together our summer reading list. And I know that there are teachers out there in our GLOBE community who have already been working on their summer reading list plans. So I challenge Ms. Jones to share her summer reading list with us tomorrow, because I know Ms. Jones is already making a list. So let me share a little bit about what I think I might be reading this summer, just to start getting your juices flowing, Glow Girls, as you think about what you're gonna do to stimulate your mind with reading. Number one on my list, is Michelle Obama's Becoming. I cannot believe I haven't read this book yet. I am so late to the party on this one, but I gotta catch up because I've been running to school. It is time for me to read Becoming. I also wanna watch the show and I have a rule, I mean the movie and I have a rule, I can't watch the movie unless I've read the book. So it's gotta happen. I love, magical realism. It's one of my favorite genres. And I am really excited to read I Caught a Witch because it's bringing some magical realism back into my life. Miss Jones has given me the thumbs up that this is good. All right, I'm excited. And finally, with the fire on high is a little Jamaican spiciness in my life. And I am so excited to read this too. I have been waiting, it's on my bookshelf. I haven't pulled it off, and this summer is the time. We're gonna happen. Mr. Grayson, you're making me laugh. All right, I wanna remind you that next week we have some celebrations that are happening at school, and we are gonna be giving you all kinds of love and all kinds of stuff. We expect you to bring back to us the stuff that belongs to us, including Chromebooks if you're turning them in at the beginning of the summer. Uh, your guitar, if you checked one out from us to learn to play with Mr. Merle over the quarantine. Your Glow Academy reading books, unless they're on your summer reading list, in which case you should keep them and read them. And finally, if you borrowed any uniforms for, from us, we want them back. Period. Today. Tomorrow. Very soon. Next week. All right. So reminder, sixth and seventh grade celebrations are on uh, Wednesday, June 10th from 5.30 to 6.30, and 8th and 9th graders will be celebrating on Thursday, June 11th, from uh, ninth graders from 5 to 6, and 8th graders from 6.30 to 7.30. All right, so <clears throat> still shining moment for today is a little self-serving, but there's a message in this. So the question becomes, who is this chick? And the answer is me. When I was three and four years old, all I did was wear my Wonder Woman underoos and wear my Wonder Woman Dixie cup wrist protectors and carry around my lasso of truth because in my mind, I was manifesting who I wanted to be the most like on this planet. Here I am, many, many, many moons later. And let me tell you, Glow Girls, while I am nowhere near Wonder Woman, I am strong, and I am brave, and I am lovingly honest, and I try to face life with a positive attitude, and I have a lot of fun while learning. And all of those things are things that Wonder Woman manifested for me when I was young. So who are you manifesting for yourself? Who do you see yourself being? It is never too late to start to imagine who the woman is that you are growing into. I keep this picture on my desk, and I look at it every day, Thank goodness I don't wear underoos outside of my house anymore, because that would not be good. But I do love that I've worked hard to be as wonderful 
in her image as I possibly can in adulthood. Shout outs and celebrations, ladies and gentlemen. Faculty and staff, do we have any shout outs today? I can go. There are a couple more seventh grade kiddos that have finished all of their work in Canvas. And I think that's really amazing. And once it's graded, all of their jobs are done in ELA. Excellent. Well done. Anybody else? Um, Ms. Hunter, I'll go. I heard this week that Exera made a hundred on her serve safe test. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Exera, and well done for setting yourself up for a job opportunities this summer. High five across the room. Awesome. Anybody else today? All right. Well, as always, we're going to end our day with our GLOW Sisterhood Pledge. And today, I would like to ask another real-life Wonder Woman to help me with our Sisterhood Pledge this afternoon. Miss Tomlin, would you give me a hand with our Sisterhood Pledge today? Yes, ma'am. All right. We, the Sisterhood of GLOW, pledge to respect ourselves and each other's needs, be kind in all our words and deeds. Have fun while learning, be lovingly honest, keep a positive attitude and live with confidence. To achieve our goals, we use our mind and we never leave a sister behind. We are strong, we are brave, we are the girls of Glow Academy. Ladies, have a wonderful afternoon as you reach towards that vision of high school graduation, college enrollment, and a lifetime of professional and personal success. And all of that starts right now with finishing all of those assignments and discussions in GBA before June 11th at 11.59 p.m. Be on it, be safe, and we'll see you tomorrow.